All right, it's time to continue on with our quest in Mass Effect 2. All right. The nerve enhancements say that there are occasional motor control side effects. Jake loves to run. What if it makes him fall down? Jake is fine, Rebecca. He's a perfectly healthy toddler. Sure he is. I just... He's my baby. He's all I have left of Jacob. I know. I just want to protect him. I know. I'm not being irrational, Michael. I know. Were these guys from the first game? Something tells me that they were from the first game. I don't know, hard to say. Welcome to Sarenus Applications. Can I interest you? Ah, Shepard! Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. You know, I use quite a bit of software in my line of work. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point-and-go nav interfaces, anyway. You wouldn't believe how often I hear, Why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. You know, I like your products. Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Saren? I'd be thrilled. But I don't think I could afford to pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just work out a discount? Absolutely. Just speaking to my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. That will be splendid. I can edit that and have it working right away. Thank you so much. So which tech module are we supposed to get? With confusion. I got you. What? No. All I heard Varana say was, pick up a module. Well, I do, one thing I do know about this uh, credit chit is that uh, it cannot be far. It cannot be far. You know what quarians are like. They take anything not welded to the deck. Tifari, now available with Dextro Amino Acid. I just talked to him on the wards market. He sent me here. Come on, why do I need a service order? Awards market? Why would you come to his Akara Award warehouse? He said they're out of stock and I should go here. He didn't say anything about a service order. Without a service order, I really can't help you. Ugh. Of course, I'm not going to spend the entire stream uh, looking for one chick credit. That would be a waste. And I think there's going to be plenty of opportunity to come back to the Citadel soon. Wait, you could- I just got a refund in exchange and I was told to pick up a new army jail converter here. I don't think you have the right place. No, they... You claim you didn't take his credit shit? No! I was walking by and he just turned on me and started screaming. Alright, well, I'm not gonna waste my time. The only question is, at which place to start? Here, so we need to get to that council. Shepard! Welcome back to the ranks of the living. I wasn't sure you got my message. 
been a long time, Captain. It's Counselor now. I had to give up my commission when I joined the Council. I'm glad you came. Though I was hoping the rest of the Council would be here for this meeting, too. Unfortunately, they rarely listen to me. Sometimes I wonder if Udina would have been the better choice for this. I'm still not clear on why you wanted me to come. There's been a lot of talk since you came back. Some of what I hear has been, frankly, a little disturbing. I wanted to give you a chance to explain your actions. Maybe get the Council to see things from your point of view. But they refuse to see you. You let the previous Council die during Sovereign's attack on the Citadel. They feel you'll always put human interests before galactic concerns. Rumors that you're working with Cerberus haven't helped. What are you doing out there? Cerberus seems to be the only group who cares about our missing colonists. I feel for those colonists, Shepard. But they went out to the Terminus systems to get away from the Alliance. We can't protect them, but you can. Or at least you're trying to, and I get the sense there's more going on here. The Collectors are abducting our colonists in the Terminus systems. And I think they're working for the Reapers. The Collectors? We hadn't considered that. There's so little data. They've always seemed like a fringe threat. If they're a front for the Reapers, this is big. But even that may not be enough to get the Council off its tail. The others have spent the past two years convincing themselves the Reapers don't exist. I tried to get the truth out, but they don't want to see it. It's just easier for them to accept Sovereign as a Geth warship. Are they blind? What about Vigil, the Prothean VI on Ilos? The VI in Ilos shut itself down. You're the only one who spoke to it, just like you and your crew are the only ones who spoke directly to Sovereign. Officially, the existence of the Reapers has been dismissed as a myth spread by Saren to convince the Geth to follow him. We both know the truth. But I've spent two years fighting that line, and I don't have much to show for it. It's not like you to give up, Anderson. I haven't given up, but I have to be realistic. Even as a counselor, there's only so much I can do. It's up to you to stop the Reaper, Shepard. All I've got is a title if you want it. I can reinstate your Spectre status. I won't win any popularity contests, but they can't really object. Your title was never officially rescinded when you died. Besides, you're still a hero to humanity, and the Council knows the danger of discounting our opinion. I'll take whatever asset I can get, old friend. Coming from you, it's as good as the first time. Not quite the same level of ceremony. And more symbolic than useful, but it still has weight in some quarters. The rest is up to you. I'll keep the Council and the Alliance off your back. Shouldn't be too hard if you're operating out in the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? Not used to seeing ghosts, Udina? I'd heard you were alive, of course, but I didn't expect to see you back on the Citadel. I hope you didn't do anything foolish, Counselor. Like try to arrange a meeting with the Council. There could be serious political ramifications. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. Sorry about that. Udina's never gotten over the fact that I got the Council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. What do you keep him around for? He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could, 
but between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage. There's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. They're here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. What happened to Gunnery Chief Williams after the Normandy was destroyed? Operations Chief Williams is still with the Alliance, but she's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. How have the last couple of years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line. That's got to be yours. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. Two years since the destruction of the Destiny Ascension, planning for the fleet of the new Allied Citadel Defense Unit have reached another impasse. The Asari Republics has ceded its share of defense responsibility to the Turian hierarchy. The Human Alliance maintains a majority share of forces. I'm sorry, but I can't let you board the shuttle with that. But this is a ceremonial item of my people! Sir, it's a 15 centimeter serrated blade. You humans are all racist. Ah, oh, just calm down a little, why don't ya? Alright, so it seems like I'm drawing a bit of a blank here for this missing chip credit, so I think we're just gonna have to do a little. last greeted you. The Zakara Ward Marketplace provides shopping and storage space for the less privileged residents of the station. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. I'm Commander Shepard. And... Ah, my favorite customer. What can I get you? A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chit? Oh! Yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chit. 
I didn't notice he'd left until he was already yeah, I gone. Guessed. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Thanks for your time. I'll be here if you need anything. I should have guessed it was that easy, but I haven't played this game in ages. That's exactly what you're gonna get. Are you sure you're being? Please move along. You forgot your credit chit at Saronis Applications. The clerk is holding it for you. Oh. Well, the Quarium could have stolen it. I'll close this event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Are you too serious? What? You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it? Now, just a minute. And you? She gets harassed and insulted by this guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy? How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? You think you're gonna run in a specter? I think both of you should get out of here. Oh, son of a... Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. Can you take care of yourself from here? I guess. I mean, most nights I eat nutrient paste in the Turian shelter. But I'm surviving. Thanks. All right. That takes care of that. Yeah, that takes care of that. Um, where to next? Well, actually, first things first, I want to go back to the Normandy. Received a new message at your private terminal. The commander has put together an impressive team. I've never worked with so Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, thanks again. You really came through. Yeah, sure. Mm hmm Right. Okay, so that takes care of that. Um, hmm. I think we go give Jack a visit. So very nice. The systems drop align shuttle. Spe the sp oh yeah, that's right. My drop shuttle. And I know Jack likes her privacy, so she's there. She is. Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. What's in them? Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. I'm gonna find something I can use. I just know it. What if the answers aren't what you expect? I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names, dates, places. What happens when you find what you're looking for? I go hunting. Anyone who's screwed with me pays. Their associates pay. Their friends pay. The galaxy's gonna be a lot emptier when I'm done. What's your history with Cerberus? 
They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since. And they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm gonna chase them. You think about this a lot, don't you? I go to sleep with this. I wake up with it. Everyone I kill, I pretend it's the ones that did this to me. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. You know, this ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate. Live like a king. I could help. You'd be my first mate? I'd lead the boarding party and handle the executions. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Simple. I should go. Yep. That was mildly interesting. I can understand that uh, she's been abused her whole life, but uh, she still has a couple of screws loose. You know what I mean? Hey, don't touch. That rifle's older than you are. I call her Jessie. That's my lucky charm. More men have been killed with that gun than died in the Skillian Blitz. The day I laid her to rest was the saddest day of my life. I give up every weapon I own for one more mission with that shitty old rifle. Beauty, isn't it? Pride that off the Krogan warlord, Kazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. I goaded Gizak into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept a helmet to remind me of that pained expression. Are you looking to open up a museum or something, or...? Alright, so where to start our... Alright. Alright, two pieces of uh, equipment taken care of, so... Am I fully loaded? Yeah, I'm fully set, ready to go. Take too long. Launching probe. Probe away. launched.
launching probe. Probe away. Away. All right, perfect. All right, time to go help, uh, help our good friend Kasumi. <laughs> I use that term extremely loosely, friend. <laughs> Probe away. Launching probe. Launching probe. Probe launched. I'm gonna go look at my upgrades. I just realized that. Okay, so there are no upgrades for either weapon or... later. I suppose I go back to the Citadel, get some more probes and more fuel.
Fuel reserves at 50%. I just hope these next several missions are worth it. Man, I'm running out of money. Well, let's see here if we can find this. Oh, this has nothing. Alright, so I'm not going to waste time here. Alright, so... So this is Stolen Memory, you Kasumi's quest. Well, Mr. Solomon Gunn. Hawk won't know what hit him. I assume Solomon Gunn is my cover? You run a small but talented band of mercs out in the Terminus systems. Precisely the type of person Hawk respects. I took the liberty of giving you a reputation. Papers, witnesses, article in Badass Weekly. Just don't start talking business with him, and you'll be fine. Remind me, what kind of man are we dealing with? Hawk's a weapons dealer and smuggler. He killed my partner and stole his gray box. Other than that, he's not so bad. Rich, charismatic, willing to crack open a man's skull to get at the neural implants inside. I take it I'm wearing this getup for a reason. You'd look really out of place at a society party in armor, don't you think? You look great. You should wear this stuff more often. Oh boy. Now's probably a good time to fill me in on the details. You have been waiting patiently. Our friend Hawk is throwing a party for his closest friends. A couple dozen of the worst liars, cheaters, and mass murderers you'll ever want to meet. All bringing gifts as a tribute to the man himself. Our tribute is a lovely statue of your old friend Saren, rendered with loving detail and filled to the brim with our weapons and armor. You can keep your pistol as long as it's concealed. They won't hassle you over a sidearm. Once inside, we'll make our way to Hawk's vault door, somewhere in the back of the ballroom. Then, we case the security and start peeling away the layers. The statue should be there, waiting for you to crack it open and arm up. And then we just waltz into the vault and take back KG's gray box. And I'll finally get a chance to say goodbye. You've worked really hard on this. KG must have meant a lot to you. Was I that obvious? KG's gray box holds a lot of priceless personal memories. It's all that remains of who he was. But the secret he discovered he is dangerous. Or not. I wouldn't bring you here if it wasn't. This ought to be interesting. That's what I'm going for. This is our stop. After you, Mr. Gunn. Just one you know, it's ironic that I'm wearing a suit and she isn't. Statue. Is there a problem here? No, Mr. Hawk. Just doing a scan. I don't believe we've met Donovan Hawk. I've heard a lot about you. Name's Solomon Gunn. And though I've heard a lot about you, you've been very busy lately, if the extra net is to be believed. Sir. And like I said before, don't you think Kasumi would stand out a lot more than, uh, Mr. Gunn? Don't think our guests would come all the way here from Ilium just to cause trouble. Do you? You may pass through, Mr. Gunn, with my apologies. But I will ask your companion to remain outside. You understand, I hope. Care to explain why my friend has to stand outside? I don't like the look of your friend, so she stays outside. Simple as that. See what I mean? If it makes you feel more secure, she can wait outside. Good to see we're not going to have a problem. Yet. Enjoy the party. Well, that didn't go as I expected. Any idea why he'd send you away? No. We've never seen each other in person. 
and no one knows what I look like. Just watching his ass, I'm sure. I can't blame him. What do we do now? We go on with the plan. You'll just have to do all the talking. I'll stay out of sight and stick with you the best I can. We'll keep radio contact in case something goes wrong. We need to find the door and case the security. We'll figure out the next step then. How did you ever contain that situation? Oh, oh that? A quick application, of course. Alright, so next on the itinerary is to locate the vault door beneath the ballroom floor. And that rhyme was not intentional. Okay, Let's keep so the we're gonna have to figure out what we have to do. He's the gun. We need to case the vault gun. You can chat up Hawk later. Let's take a t let's let's take a look at the gallery. Hawk's private rooms are off limits without proper clearance. I'm dying to get in there, but we have to scope out the vault first. Well, I want to have a look around first. Say, what's that over there? Hawk's bedroom, I believe. Wow, who's his architect? This is a very impressive place. Or a very large one, at least. I hear Mr. Hawk's vault is exquisite. Who could know? He never lets anyone near it. Oh, there's a data pad here. Private rooms. No way we can sneak out of that party. This place is locked down tight, and Security Chief Rose in charge. No way Rose would let that get past her. I'd rather stand around bored on guard duty than risk a wrath. Sorry, Samuels. Chief Rowe, huh? She sounds like a hard ass. If we could tap into the guard's communications, I could probably okay, hear so this I think we got ourselves in a new objective. What's your read on I think. Or maybe not. I hear he's dead. Or gone. Something. Good riddance, I say. Hmm. Some say Commander Shepard is still alive. Really? Oh, please. It's wishful thinking, at best. A reality at worst. Well, anyways, let's go downstairs. I think we spent enough time, uh, waltzing around. Unless it's just the other side. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. There's more here than I expected. Password protected voice lock. Kinetic barrier. DNA scanner. Looks like an EX700 series. Everything a vault needs to be impenetrable. This gonna be a problem? Please, remember who you're talking to. We'll need to get a voice sample for the voice lock. You'll have to go chat up Hawk for that. We'll have to find a password too. DNA, child's play. We should find plenty of DNA samples in Hawk's private quarters. And the barrier? Cut the power. Never fails. If we can find it. KG could get through a system like this in his sleep. And I'm better. Let's get to it. Okay, so that's our next, uh... So looks like we got ourselves quite a few tasks. you're having a good time that scene at the door hasn't soured your evening i hope i understand the security but who would dare try to break into donovan hawk's home gun in our line of work we attract a certain element 
few understand the pains we take to keep the barbarians at bay. People these days want comfort, entertainment, love. They don't see that the galaxy is fragile. They only have to worry about simple luxuries. Why? Because people like me and you are doing the terrible things that keep the galaxy spinning. This party is for us, the cleaners, the support structure for the galaxy's gleeful delusions of peace. May there always be a market for the things we do. I said get him talking, and you got him talking. We've got enough of a voice sample. Let him go. Enjoy the party, Mr. Gunn. Once we find the password, we can get past the voice scanner. Okay, so this one's gonna be a bit more difficult. Mr. Hawk's private rooms are off limits to guests without security clearance. I have clearance to go in. On whose authority? I have authorization from Chief Rowe. Okay, one second. Chief Rowe, Samuels. Have you given access authorization to Mr. Hawk's private rooms? I see. I don't know who you think you are, but Rose says she's never heard of you. Nice try, though. Enjoy the party. Private rooms. We need to get in there. That's the best place to find Hawk's DNA. Mr. Hawk's private rooms are off limits to guests without... I have clearance Look, I already called in once. This is getting old fast. Just try it again. Fine. Chief Rowe, Samuels again. These guests are back and... Y yes, that's right. I... Yes, okay, I'll tell them. You're not getting through this door. Get lost. I don't think he's going to cooperate. We should look for another way in. Ready when you are. Here they come. Can't be back here. Take them down. <laughs> Can't get there. Lost out of fuck. I have an idea. See what you can find. Nance, I have that problem too. So many passwords around here. Can't keep them straight. The password for tonight is Perugia, so it's not even that easy to remember. It's no big deal. That voice scanner means the password's only useful for hot talk. Anyways, after this party, want to grab some beers? Let me know. Samuels. Got something? The password is Perugia. Huh. That's the name of the man who stole the Mona Lisa. Nice. I tapped into their communications. Maybe it'll come in handy. Now, I just take the voice sample we got from Hawk and... Got it. Now we can crack that voice scanner. Okay, what the heck is going on? going on here? Let's take a look at our journal anyways. Okay, there we go. That's better. Perfect. Well, that's two problems down. One to go. Did you hear? Santiago took over that refinery. I'm sorry. He's, He's the gun. It 
looks like the barrier's power cable runs under the floor here. I'll set your Omni tool to scan for electromagnetic fields. So that's actually to the barrier itself, so we gotta go backwards. One sec. That should take care of the barrier. Well, two problems down, one to go. Away from the party, huh? Hmm. I guess we're just uh... dead. Got company. entrance. Nope. Oh. Look for anything we can get usable DNA from. Just make it quick and quiet. <laughs> Found a sample? No. A credit chip. Not a great saliva sample, but it's still useful. We're going to need more than this for the scanner, though. Empty. Too bad. A cigarette butt would have been a good source. Hmm. No DNA, but... Looks like Hawk's been trying to crack Cagey's gray box. Looks like he's missing something. He hasn't cracked the encryption yet. No hair. No skin flakes. The housekeepers must be thorough. It's clean. It's a plant. Damn. You can't be in here. Grabbing cover. Someone's 
Probably get Hawk's DNA off the data pad. He seems to have obsessed over this. But I'm not sure there's enough. Let's keep looking. Holographic interface. Won't find a sample here. The cleaners don't dare touch treasures like this. We can get some skin cells from the dust. That should do it. Let's get out of here. Check for security cams. Go ahead and get dressed. Alright, time to go get a KG's gray box back. So this is Hawk's fault. Very nice. This scanner will hone in on the gray box. It's not far. Is go to. It's cold locked. I had a feeling that was you at the door. I knew if it was really you, you'd get through anyway. You know me. I don't like to disappoint. I need what's in your grey box, Kasumi. You know I'm willing to kill you for it. I'll admit your skills are impressive. You got into my vault like I'd left it open. But you're still going to die, screaming. No! Have I got your attention? <laughs> that shut him up. Kill 
handle them. There's a landing pad to the east. Let's get out of here. Joker, bring the shuttle in. Now! silent. Now you see me. Huh? Oh. 
weapons than that to blow those tanks. Use this. Keep them busy. I'll take care of this myself. Taking cover. Now 
now you see me. You see that? There they are. We get in there and take me. Tells me I think I am stuck. Wow. Yeah, I am legit stuck. Okay, that's a major bug I didn't expect. So we're gonna have to start over again. Well, start from back here. Alright, take two. I did not expect that to happen. Oh, looks like I found a bug already here. Nice. There we go, that's much better. You could have done this the easy way, go. Allow me to show you the hard way. Up ahead! Friend Kasumi, you're doing this for love? 
gun ship back and the full shield. If I can get to the ship, I can take down the shield. Tear that thing apart. Donovan. Well, what do we do now? Oh, there's our ride. Let's get out of here. we found is all here. It's big, Kasumi. If the Council ever got wind of this, the Alliance could be implicated. Kasumi, I... I encrypted the information to keep it safe. And I uploaded the encryption key to your gray box, so no one could get the whole package. But if I'm dead, and if anyone knows about this, then I've made you a target, my love. 
I'm so... so sorry. Keiji... I know you, Kasumi. You'll want to keep these memories forever. But you don't need some neural implant to know I'll always be with you. Please, Kasumi. Destroy these files. There's nothing more I can do to protect you. I... I can't do that. This is all that's left. Goodbye, Kasumi. I love you. Is there any way we can just destroy the information? No. Keiji's a master at encrypting files. He laced the information into his memories. You can't get one without experiencing the other. If it's that important to you, keep it. Just make sure you're ready to live with the consequences. Yeah, I am. I'll stay off the grid. No one will know I exist. I think I want this. Thanks, Shepard. We can use this. So, we got Kasumi's memory back. Very nice. And I'm definitely not wearing this. Let's go feed our fishy friends here, shall we? Eat up, guys. I think this is what we're going to stick with here, so... Yeah. <laughs> that little guy. Alright. So, like I said, we got Kasumi's memory back. Yay! And I think this is depleted, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there's nothing left. Launched. 
move away. Alright. Then we'll explore the last one and then we'll get out of here. Oh, okay, a slightly richer planet, but that's not really saying much. Launching probe. Probe launched. Launching probe. Where to next? We'll go over here. Away. 
launching probe. Alright, perfect. We're gonna help Zaid first. Poor resources, and I don't know why. Launching probe. But then again, I'm probably sure they're heavily populated, so that's probably why resources are scarce. Probe away. Launching probe. Probe launched. Launching probe. Launching probe. Probe away. Launched. Probe launched. Launched. Probe launched. Probe launched. Launching probe. Launching probe. Probe away. You know, for a plan that says poor resources, uh, there's a lot of resources. Probe launched. Probe. All right, perfect timing. All right, let's go help Zaid. Oh, it works out perfectly. All right, so Zaid has to come with. Not yet. Oh, she wears red. Well, that's the Overlord. We're not warlord, but we're not ready yet. Uh, hmm. I think Jack would be better suited for this mission. Alright, so I can level up my. I don't have enough for leveling up. No. Or. 
All right, let's get going. I think we'll just leave our weapons as is. And this is another easy mission to gain loyalty from Zaid. Sun's communications. Stay tight and look out for ambushes. Squad Bravo, a shuttle landed near your location. Check it out. Here we go. Keep close. Shot in the back and left to rot. That's definitely Vito style. Let's push ahead. Get out of here, you little monkey. Wildlife. Report to base. Armed intruders incoming. Ah. 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 Yeah, way to sink into the earth there, buddy. Yeah, just sink into the earth. like he hasn't changed. I get the feeling you have a past with this Vito. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. The Suns only got meaner after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So, yeah, we have a past. Why didn't anyone tell me you founded the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books, I led the men. Worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Gotta have terrorists, I said. Twenty years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? Vito turned my men against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For twenty years I've seen that bastard every time I closed my eyes. Every time I sighted down on a target. Every time I heard a gunshot. Don't you call that a goddamn grudge? You survived a gunshot to the head? Yeah. And you survived your ship getting disintegrated. A stubborn enough person can survive just about anything. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. You survived a gunshot to yeah. the head? Yeah. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. We'd better get moving. I thought Jack was just like, 
Yeah, you guys can talk about old stories. I'm just gonna take a look at this waterfall. It seems nice, anyways. They know we're here. Bring it on, you son of a bitch! Zaid Masani, you finally tracked me down. Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are again. What was that? Got nearsighted old friend. Burn you, son of a bitch. You just signed your death warrant, Masani. What the hell are you doing? Opening the gate. Next time you're gonna blow something up, I want to know about it first. Vito was confident, had a lot of men. Now he's lost the home field advantage. If we keep up the pressure, no way he's getting out of here alive. This isn't the time. We'll discuss this later. Once Vito's dead, we can discuss anything you want. one of those few instances where you do not want to use a paragon. Vito's probably halfway to the shuttle docks by now. I get why you want Vito dead, but is he really worth watching those people burn to death? I'm not sticking around to watch. We stop to help these people and Vito gets away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. Let's get moving before Vito gets away. Glad you see it my way. And that in of itself will gain Zaid's life. Yeah. Oh, 
this. Salvaging in here before I move on. Alright, let's move on. I was ducking the whole time. Wow. Wow, I was ducking. I don't know what happened. Wow. Unbelievable. I'll bring this place down around you.
what now? Oh, that big guy. How's it going here? I'm doing alright. How are things on your end? Zaid's loyalty. Zaid, please. You know it was nothing personal, just business, I swear. It was 20 years ago. Look at you. I did you a favor. Zaid, please. I'm gonna die here, man. Do something. Try, you son of a bitch. I did actually. It was actually uh, very interesting. Although my only real question is, uh, how much further can they uh, can they uh, keep expanding the Star Wars universe? That's the real question. And I see you started uh, doing a Knights of the Old Republic. Yeah, that's a that's a relic game. That's an ancient game, actually. But I heard it's still good to this day. Well, let's see here. I have a little bit of time left. I can stick around for just a smidge longer. Interesting. Oh, I'm out of. Oh, well, this is a fine time to be out of probes and, uh. Be out of probes and yet yeah, come to a planet that is rich in resources. How lovely. It seems like a lot of games nowadays here have mods. Okay, there's no new messages. But you know, the only time I would endorse a mod is if it actually helps make a game run better on a modern system. And I know of a few games that have mods already that do that. And I've also, also been hearing that people have gotten sued over uh, mods. Because I guess the company's like, hey, you created this mod for this game here without our permission. And yeah, I kind of figured it would only be for PC. So in my opinion, mods are a bit of a double-edged sword. They can be helpful if done correctly, but you gotta be careful. 
You don't want to end up with a lawsuit on your hand. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe away. Huh. So it's kind of like a, uh... So I guess that kind of mod sounds more like it's a, uh... Behind-the-scenes sort of mod. And also, as they like to call, deleted content. Launching probe. You know, it is interesting that, uh... Someone would go through all the trouble just to create a mod to restore any unused content. Well, but that's just my take on it, of course. Probe launched. Launching probe. Away. Wait, how quickly this planet's getting its resources depleted? Probe launched. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe away. Probe launched. Launching probe. Launching probe. There we go. All right. Actually, there is one thing I was going to discuss with the uh, Zaid.
thinking about past missions. Got a minute? You might learn something. Oh, that's already discussed. Well. Well, I would love to keep this stream going here, but unfortunately my time is just about up. Um, yeah, like I said, I hate to cut the uh, fun here, but thanks to those who watched the session, thanks to those who joined me on the chat. Yeah, I am going to be. Actually, I'm going to be. Well, no. No. I have a better idea. I know exactly what to do. I'm I'm gonna be ending soon, but I'm not gonna Don't end like this. No, 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 no. What I'm gonna do... Of course, I'm not gonna end it here. No, 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 no. I got some more fuel. What I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna... I'm gonna get myself rearmed. I'm gonna start the next. Actually, I'm not gonna completely start the next mission. I'm just gonna. Oh, there's an anomaly detected. Oh, found it right off the bat. Oh, How nice. I have found something. Yeah, he only wears red also. I'm gonna take him along. And I'm gonna take her along. This is where I'm gonna end things here. I know it's not exactly the most ideal way, but once again, thanks to those who joined me on the chat, thanks to those who watched me play this. I will see everyone next time.